now let us try to understand what is piping engineering okay piping engineering is a specialized discipline of mechanical engineering right we have mechanical engineering uh, all around with us but this is a specialized discipline which cover design of pipe and layout of equipment these two things which we need to really understand what is design of pipe and what is layout of equipment which are commonly used in chemical petrochemical and hydrocarbon facilities now let us try to understand design of pipe okay if you look at these two pictures here we can see a lot of piping okay a lot of piping it looks like uh, like it is really difficult to understand what is moving from where to where right if we cannot understand looking at these picture okay it is it seems little uh, tough like uh, what is moving from where to where okay so but something is moving we are doing engineering here right so we need to understand these things what is pipe how it is rooted how it is supported how it is designed it is nearly equivalent to in human body okay just think about the veins and arteries as a pipe in chemical plant okay these are also very complex it is really tough to understand this thing at the same time this design is again uh, like you can say tough but at the same time let us try to understand design of pipe what we are doing here we are going to decide like we know something is going to pass from these pipes okay that will be having its own temperature and pressure like right? which will be imposing a lot of stresses internally as well as externally right so all those stresses need to be and like taken care while designing these pipes how we are going to decide like this can withstand this much pressure okay we need to decide the thickness of these pipe based on that now these refineries are designed for 25 to 30 years whether it will be uh, like in a good condition up to that much time maybe due to corrosion some portion of pipe may get cracked so all those things we need to keep in mind in advance right so based on that only pipe is designed material will be selected its thickness will be decided so that it can withstand all the temperature pressure conditions which are there to make it pass smoothly anyways this is something which we are talking about the design of pipe at the same time we need to lay out of equipment if you see there will be so many equipments involved in any of the refineries some are horizontal some are vertical okay all type of equipment storage vessels everything will be there now we need to connect all those equipment in such a manner that this much piping which we are looking uh, in this picture this much piping can be optimized okay we don't want to uh, spend even an extra dollar on these things we need to optimize each and everything right so based on that we need to locate these equipments so that the process sequence is followed and the connections are optimized then again if you look at uh, uh, general thing piping engineering is half art and half science okay now why it is half art if you look at these two pictures there can be n number of uh, ways to root these pipes okay this can go like this this can turn this this side and then this can come down then this can be connected there will be n number of ways but uh, we need to visualize how an operator is going to reach there how a welder is going to reach there to weld it what will happen at the time of maintenance when an operator is going there to open a uh, few things to access few things to access the valves okay so many things will be there to read get the reading so many instrument uh, controls uh, will be there so many uh, gauges will be there where an operator will keep on coming on regular basis okay so those things we need to plan if you look at this picture operator is standing here okay that means a platform is required if platform is required there should be a ladder or staircase to reach there okay in case of emergency the he should not be trapped at some point there should be escape routes so all those things need to be planned and there should there is no science behind it this is all common based common sense based 
if you can visualize things then it can be improved also so what is the main agenda to optimize the pipe route and equipment layout so here if a person is having good visualization power a good creativity we can do wonders here now what about science science part includes certain established norms okay as you know uh, hundred and thousands of billion dollars are involved in single project single plant okay so there should be some established rules and regulations things cannot go randomly okay if somebody is not creative or somebody cannot visualize things may go wrong okay but at the same time to manage all these things there is a science behind it there are certain established norms there are few codes and standards now let us know what are these codes and standards codes are group of rules or systematic procedures for design fabrication installation examination and inspection okay so that things go smoothly these are uh, like you can say can be adopted by legal jurisdiction and made into law if something if a client is there and he is asking something that is understood that we need to follow certain codes if something is written in the code and we are not following that that can be questioned uh, legally right whatever is there in code that has to be followed if you look at standards these are again few of the documents prepared by recognized professional groups and committees which contain mandatory requirements now let us see what is the difference between these two things this is all about we are talking about the sec second part which is uh, science what is this science what wow they these two things are different from each other codes we cannot uh, violate anything this can be legally questioned okay client is there they can if something is agreed and it is written in the code and we are not following while designing that is uh, illegal you can say at the same time same things similar things similar procedures similar guidelines everything is same but these are documented as standards whatever is there if based on some uh, site conditions or design conditions we have to go for some change we can always discuss with client and other uh, uh, industry experts and we can always make few changes but there is no scope this has to be followed and uh, this is legally uh, followed so this is the basic difference between codes and standards and we have to follow just to complete our design so this is all about piping engineering everything is uh, all about designing of pipe and layout of equipment